it's so slippery that you actually can fall into death. <laughs> <laughs> So of all the videos you found of Hawaii, you clicked into this one, you must be one adventurous person. Oh yeah, because you are in for a treat. You are going to see Ida's favorite place. You are going to be with us on a hike to a magnificent mountain up the stairways to heaven. Yeah, we are literally touching heaven. Okay, maybe not heaven, but at least the clouds. Are you ready to jump into part two of our Hawaiian adventure? Apparently, me and Ida thought it was a great idea to do the hardest hike in all of Oahu on the same day that we did another hike. So it wasn't that smart. So you already know that me and Ida likes to walk. So here we are out walking again. But now we are going to do Moanalua Valley Trail. This is probably the hardest and longest trail on Oahu Island. From what we have read, it takes between five to eight hours to complete it. So we will see how much time we will spend up in the mountain. And some of you may know this trail as the stairways to heaven. But the stairways to heaven is illegal, so this is the legal trail that you can take. And it's actually longer and harder to hike than the stairways to heaven, but the stairways to heaven are a bit ruined. Uh, they were actually built during the World War II because there's a World War II radio station up on the top of the hill that we will see in a little while. Yeah, we will probably be kind of tired when we are walking up the mountain, but it's nothing two Norwegians can't handle. At least nothing one Norwegian can't handle. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Yeah, him, that guy, he's the badass. She is suited from top to bottom in straight out workout gear. What did I bring? My bathing shorts. So first off, we have some awesome trees on this trial literally out of a Tarzan movie. I've been to Africa. They didn't have trees like Tarzan where I was, but probably up in the jungle in Congo or somewhere like that. You will find those Tarzan trees. They must have had some inspiration from Hawaii about the trees when they were producing Tarzan movies. So we are one hour in. We have had one break to pee a little. We have walked about 4.6 kilometers. It's not been very hard so far. So if it doesn't get much harder soon, this trial isn't too bad. Not bad at all. So I guess we have to wait and see.
I were just saying it's not steep at all. <laughs> My mistake. We are getting up there and it's getting way more wooded. We are on the way to the top. We just met some local people who said it's the clearest day ever. So we will get a really, really good view up there. See you there. The trail is almost not visible anymore. Yep, that's the trial. It's already up there. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> okay, now to see someone struggle. And now the, the slow version. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. It keeps going. Ugh. Ooh, close one. I started slipping. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see if it's steep, but it's freaking steep. So we're getting closer and closer to the top. You can see the whole Pearl Harbor Bay down here and we can see the ocean on this side as well now. We are going all the way up there and there is where we will get the best view of the whole island. So last little hill before we're at the top. It's not much left. So we arrived to the top, but there's a cloud coming. So we decided not to go over to the radio tower over there. Ida is a bit afraid to go down the steps. And of course I do understand her. It was kind of steep and she don't want to go into too much clouds when we are going downhill. And you can already see that the clouds are coming into the hill here. And this was some of the steepest part. So she really wants to race down before the whole thing is covered in clouds. So we don't uh, fall or if it starts to rain, it gets all muddy and yeah. I'm a bit disappointed because that was my whole thing getting over there, but I can't blame her if she's afraid. So I guess this looks cool on camera as well when you can see the clouds. So we are done with the steepest part up and we're done with the steepest part down. It's not the worst hike I've been on. Definitely not. It was a magnificent view up there. Uh, the hike itself it's actually, it's quite scary at some points, you know, it's like, j just look at this. It's far down. A lot of places, it's very slippery, so... And if you are enough uncareful, it's so slippery that you actually can fall into death. I haven't checked the death statistics on this hike. And I haven't checked... Uh, how many injuries there are, but I assume that There might be a couple Because we have hikes in Norway that are way less scary than this and They have been shut down because of a lot of 
uh, tourist death. So we just came down to where it's flat again and we're actually walking a little bit of uphill and it feels nice. We have spent four hours and 31 minutes since the start at the playground until we are down here where it starts to get flat again. Maybe we can do it in five hours, but I'm a little doubtful. We had 10 minutes stop at the top as well. So let's see where we end. So we had two and a half liters of water with us and that's actually too little, I would say. Because I'm kind of thirsty now and Ida is also kind of thirsty. So for two people, two and a half liters of water for this hike, that's not, not enough. It would be nice with a cold smoothie, as I've said to Ida now for the last half hour. So she's getting tired of hearing that. But it's just a really good cold smoothie. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, and we're kind of dirty. I can see that Ida is very dirty and I am also dirty. And I also need new shoes. I would almost assume that they will not be the same again after a round in the washer. So we just arrived at the end of the trial. I don't know if you see the gate behind me, but you can see the playground there. And the time is, what does it say? Five hours, 33 minutes. And we went 14 kilometers. So, five hours, 33 minutes. We just way longer from, from it went flat than I thought. So I also crashed my drone. You will see that in the blooper. When we are stopping and filming and setting up the cameras, that also takes a little bit of time. So I don't know how much time we actually used in the mountain if you don't count the stops, because that includes the 10 minute stop that we had on the top of the hike. And what do you do when you have huge blisters after you have walked a long time and are done feeling sorry for yourself? Yes, you go out and eat. Let's look at some of the delicious food that Hawaii has to offer. <laughs> so we are at Uncle Clay's House of Pure Aloha and we are going to try the shave ice. Apparently this is one of the places where the shave ice is very very good and they are using pure ingredients to make the sauces. So we are looking forward to tasting the shave ice here and if you don't know what shave ice is just follow along. So we have just gotten our shave ice and and this is mine. It looks very good and I just tasted the vanilla ice cream on top which is Tahitian and it was very good. And here you have Ida's, she have the more fruity options. Now this local Hawaiian French toast must be some of the best food I got on my whole trip. They were so sweet and so delicious. They use a local recipe with some special ingredients that I don't know of. And Ida got the pancakes and yeah, I'm having fun with the camera. I know it's very ugly filmed, but it's just to point out that these things are delicious. And I can promise you, if you ever go to Hawaii, you have to find this spot with the name Sweet East Cafe and you will be amazed. So we have bought malasadas and they look like this. It's Hawaii's answer to donuts, or actually it's not Hawaii's, it's Portugal's answer to donuts. And Hawaii has adopted that and created their own. And we have the Nutella, the strawberry filled and coconut. So let's taste the one with coconut cream. They are insane. I can't eat this because I will get way too fat. So a place we have been going to many many times since we came to Hawaii is Maguro Spot and they serve Pukai Bowls, which is what it's actually called. Pukai Bowls and not 
pokey or puke or whatever you usually call it. And they are really good. You select different kind of sauces. You select different kind of fish or shrimps or whatever you want to have in it. And you choose your vegetables. They are really good. Like that's one of the easiest and tastiest dishes we have had since we came to the island. So yeah. We are very happy with this place and very often there's a huge line outside, but it usually moves fast. So last day in Hawaii and this has basically been a go-to every day since we came to the island. Ordering acai bowls on Uber Eats, also a coffee for me. The acai bowls here are just incredibly good. Like it's the best acai bowls I've ever tasted. We are ready to reveal our big secret. We are going on a trans-Pacific cruise ship to Australia. But before we are going on the cruise ship that are leaving tomorrow, we have to do a little stop. And now we are going to Ida's absolute favorite place. So, are you ready to follow us into Ida's happy place? This is the single biggest reason why Ida came to Hawaii in the first place. This is what she wanted to experience. So just follow along and join me to Ida's happy place. Stop filming, this is not my happy place. So now that we are finished at Ida's favorite place, we should visit Diamond Head. Have you really been to Honolulu without visiting Diamond Head? I don't think so. So we needed to take the hike and that was our last stop before our cruise on our Hawaiian adventure. So second last day in Honolulu we have rented the Beaky bikes again and what was actually really nice about them is that the 300 minutes that we bought initially they are still counting and that was really convenient for us because then we could use our 300 minutes included and we can hike the crater let me tell you one thing this place is insanely crowded and another thing they have ten dollars entrance fee you have to reserve in advance and that's not what we're used to we are used to the more dangerous more like hikes that not everyone are doing like the opposite side of the stairways to heaven that's really cool hikes to do because there's not too much people there So I were thinking about talking up there and saying something about it, but it's just so many people and I'm not used to talking to the camera with hundreds of people around and that's the experience with Diamond Head. It's a really nice hike, it's not very hard at all, it's actually very easy, but it feels a bit hotter up here than what it did down in the city, but I would recommend it for almost anyone. So we just boarded Quantum of the Seas and are ready to be on the sea for the next 19 days on a trans-pacific cruise ship this will be the first time ever that we are cruising for that long we have done a lot of cruises in the caribbean but it's something different cruising all the way from honolulu hawaii and all the way over to brisbane in australia we are stopping in tahiti along the way and we are going to do a tour of every stop that we make so you can get an impression of how tahiti actually looks we will do another adventure when we are coming to Australia. We still don't yet know what to do, but we are going to do something epic when we are coming to Australia. Hopefully you will be with us in, on this journey 
and we can travel the world and have fun together. So we are at Uncle Benny's Shave Ice. Thank you, Benny's. Uncle Clay's House of Pure Aloha. <laughs> so we are at Uncle Clay's. Let me show you one of the things that are just really, really nasty in this apartment. Uh, you can even see the hair that are stuck to the body of the hair. Dryer. Like, it's so freaking nasty. I've never seen anything like it. If this is the... If it doesn't get very much harder, Snart. Snart. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>